My first year of college, I didn't know what I was going to do. I took business courses. Uh, I didn't like them. So then I thought, all right, I need to go into the sciences, and I thought I could do dentistry. As, as, uh, as I think back to one of my early memories as a child, um, my dad played dentist on me. And maybe, maybe this is what got me into dentistry. I was probably seven years old, and we had a big oak tree in the yard, and we had a, a rope swing with a wooden disc on it. Once you get bored of riding it, you would throw it around. And I got hit by this swing and it hit a baby tooth and it caused it to become dark. So my father, no dentistry knowledge at all, saw the dark tooth and thought, we need to take this tooth out. And he has a pair of pliers that he got from the garage and he puts me on the, on the couch and he's gonna take the tooth out. But a tooth, a tooth that's supposed to come out is easy to come out. That's why kids can take their own teeth out. Teeth that aren't ready to come out yet, you have to work at it. So he had to, I, I, I don't remember the pain. Um, I almost remember it as, as sitting above, looking down on it. So that might have been my first interest of maybe I could be a dentist so other children don't have to ex experience this. I actually, I like the interaction with, uh, with the patients, the relationships that you can create with patients. I like making these big changes. It, it's amazing how impactful a smile can be. And when you actually come in in the span of two hours, you can treat a patient and give them a mirror and they start crying because they've never seen themselves this way, that's impactful. So that's kind of what keeps you coming back for more. Being in education forces you to stay current. It forces you to know what's being looked at with research. It forces you to be able to discuss current trends and topics. But also what being in education does is it, it allows you to communicate better. It forces you to speak differently, to talk to patients differently than talk to clinicians, and it forces you to become clear. So you have to be on the top of your game, and all of a sudden you become very clear with how you can discuss complex things with patients. I see a lot of people that attend our courses that maybe have just gotten out of school, and other clinicians who have been in practice 20, 30 years. And they all have that same passion and that's that's what I hope we instill we create this desire to continue to improve and continue to practice and help patients